Hi, it's Mark from Groupable, and today I am going to take you through the process of recording the transfer of funds from your controller to your treasurer, or if you're not using the formal uh, financial control system, but you're just recording your receipts and you want to record your deposit, this is basically recording your deposit. So I'm going to get started here. I'm going to log into the system here. And I have already recorded some receipts that haven't been deposited yet. So I'm going to go to my undeposited funds here. And you can see here, this gives you a breakdown of your undeposited funds by the individual line items for the income categories and the dues years, if it is a dues payment. You get a breakdown by payer, the individual person's name. Remember, all of these are sortable, so you can move them around any way you want. We give you a breakdown by receipt type, whether it's check, cash, money order, that type of thing, and a breakdown by category. So you can see I've got $1,100 in dues and $100 in donations. here. If this all looks good, scroll up to the top, hit the plus sign in the upper right hand corner, and that is the process that's going to kick off doing the deposit. It takes us to our deposit screen where we actually tabulate the funds that we're going to be depositing. Again, it gives you that breakdown by the income category. If this all looks good, you can click the confirm button. And that actually goes ahead and creates that deposit for you and gives you access to two reports here. You can print out what we call a treasurer's report, which gives you the breakdown by the income category. And we can also do what we call a secretaries or the controller's report here. You print that out and that is each individual line item that is on that particular deposit. And if you go to financial income and expenses here, right here on your main menu, and you scroll down to the bottom in the finances panel, you'll see a deposits uh, tab there. If you click that, you'll see here listed your deposit and you can always click that and look at all of the nitty gritty details about that particular deposit. Now, let's say that you process this deposit, but you actually forgot to bring Loris's check with you to give it to your treasurer. That's not a problem. You can come in here, you can click the minus sign. It's gonna ask you if you like to remove it from the transfer, go ahead and say, okay. That will take that out of that transfer and if I actually now go to financials and I go to undeposited funds, we will see that item there on the undeposited fund screen because we just took it out of the deposit. We didn't delete the receipt. We just said that it's not available to be deposited right now. So that's how you create a deposit. That's how you take something out of a deposit so that you could work with it. And if you have any questions about that, give us a ring. Also, be sure to watch the overview of the financial system and the rationale behind it, that's going to make a lot of this make a lot more sense for you. Have a great day.